We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to give you a special bulletin regarding the attacks that have seemingly spread throughout the eastern seaboard. As always, it's important not to engage anyone who you believe are ill or unresponsive. Individuals affected by this pandemic will attack on site without provocation. Reports that had stated that it may have spread from homeless infections may have been greatly exaggerated, but it is clear that it is spreading, and you should make yourself aware of the signs and symptoms of the illness. Current numbers of infected are difficult to track at this time, but are still considered very low. Philadelphia has reported multiple sightings of unresponsive individuals in a trance-like state that seems to frequent these reports. Also, reports from other cities such as New York and Chicago have begun to surface, although in very limited numbers. It's still not clear how the transmission is passed. Aged and infirm seem to be the most susceptible. Assisted living structures have been recommended to lock their doors and screen anyone entering. What is clear is that hospitals and medical facilities are reporting influxes of injured, mostly from bite and scratch wounds, while some have reported injury from escaping individuals they believe to be infected. Although these reports cannot be seen as completely reliable, it seems that these reports are an excellent litmus test for where to focus efforts. Local police, assisted by National Guard, still attempt to focus their efforts on the most troubled areas of attacks. But since infected are highly mobile, it has become more and more difficult to track their movements. False reports have at this time been considered low. At this time, our area has not received alerts, but the president has asked that all state and local officials remain on high alert until the issue can be better assessed. Until then, you are asked to remain in your homes. Many have taken these requests and become communal in nature, especially in rural areas where resources are better pooled together as families are sharing buildings and resources. One business allowed homeless and other individuals to come inside to better protect from infected individuals. Malls have set up makeshift shelters and handed out food and water to those displaced. But the CDC is warning that these may not be advised at this time without due screening of individuals entering these facilities. We will continue to keep you updated on any reports you receive by these special reports. Tune in to 11 o'clock news for further coverage.